Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gigi and today I recently saw a basket weave set or at least just one nail, not a set, just one nail. And I was like, wow, it's been so long since I did that. And guys, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It got a little fuzzy here, so I apologize for that. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, it happens sometimes though, and if you make videos, you know it. So we're using the um, uh, brain fart alcohol inks that I made a long time ago and don't use nearly enough honestly I really love them and we're just gonna make some marbles because I figured it would look really cool if uh, the ribbon of our basket weave looked like tie-dye and I think it ends up looking pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and make those I'm gonna make three of them but you're not gonna see me do uh, three basket weaves we're just gonna do two it's enough it's enough for you to see how it's done and to get the feel for it and to be able to watch it and create it yourself and i just want to go ahead and say also my baskets aren't perfect my weave is not perfect but it's pretty cute and um i feel like i'm gonna i'm gonna keep playing around with this technique and come up with some new ways to um to express it right i just i really enjoyed it so it was super fun to do and it tests your line skills and it tests your um your dotting and your spacing and all of that so it's great for your art skills um i really had fun making these marbles too you can layer as much as you want letting each one dry in between um using a paper towel to soak or a, a dry brush to soak up anything that you think needs to be removed or is too much and um, that's kind of the fun part for me is the pulling back and the dispersing like right now i'm using just plain alcohol to disperse a little bit then come back in with some more colors let it shift and let it move and let it have fun and um i enjoy this style of marbling it looks very intricate it looks very layered and it's super easy to do and it adds no kind of thickness to your nail because it's really just pigment. The alcohol evaporates and leaves that color behind. And if you wanna know how to make these, I will link how I did it in one of the cards. So be sure to click that. I had a great time doing it, but let me forewarn you, absolutely must wear gloves unless you don't mind stained hands because you're gonna it's a mess. It is a mess. And even working with them when, while I was making this, I knocked one over and made a mess. So it's, it's very unforgiving is what I want to say if you make a mistake or, or you get messy. So make sure you wear gloves when you use these because it's also alcohol. You don't want to dry out your skin. So there you go. We're putting on a base coat. I want to tell you that these will 100% drag. They'll leave drag marks. So you wanna make sure you have a juicy base coat and there's a nice ball of base coat on your brush so you can drag that down without really touching the nail. Okay, uh, now we're gonna come in with our dots, dots first. And we're gonna space them as well as we can. I think I'm doing pretty good. You're, you're wanting to make it look almost like you're making little squares because that's pretty much what you're gonna do. Then we're gonna come in and make our lines. Uh, I also wanted to point out, guys, in case you didn't uh, notice, um, which, unless you had that pressed, why would you? I added um, auto-generated Closed captioning, sorry, brain not working today. Auto generated closed captioning. That's just a really big phrase. And um, so if you click on the closed captioning button, you should get closed captions if you don't wanna listen to me talk. So there's that. Enjoy the closed captions. Those are by YouTube um, or by the AI that YouTube uses. So we're just making the lines. You need to space them specifically so that it looks like the basket is weaving. Um, I found a video and just watched it a million times over and over. And you can see I, I have a little pause here. I wanted to show you that I paused a few times so that I could see exactly where I needed to put the lines. As if you don't put them right, it just looks like dots and lines. It doesn't look like you're weaving the baskets. 
but as soon as you do it correctly, it looks exactly like you're weaving a basket. So it's super fun to do. I really enjoy this look. I feel like if this was a square nail, I could have gotten another set of dots there. And I want you to notice how on the lines you go inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. You could probably reverse that and go outside, inside, outside, inside. But I didn't want to mess up my brain and overthink it. So maybe I'll try that next time because it's just gel polish. You can wipe it right away if you make a mistake. And if with a tiny brush, you can clean one line. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's super fun to make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. And sometimes the mistakes turn out, like Bob Ross says, happy accidents. I don't know if you can hear that. It's my daughter vacuuming downstairs. I thought she was done, but she's clearly not. And I'm not gonna stop doing this voiceover cause I'm halfway done pretty much. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. So now I've taken my black polish and I just mixed it with some base coat or I think this is actually top coat until I got to the grayish sort of, um, I, I guess you would call it a jellyish black, a jelly black. And now I'm using that to make shadows. We're just shading in some shadows. So it looks like, again, it enforces that illusion of a basket. Because that's all you're really doing is creating that illusion. And I really love how making a marble gave the ribbons the illusion of being tie-dye. I, as soon as I saw the basket weave look, I'm like, okay, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do it different because that way it puts a new spin on it. It, get, it, it awakens your brain and starts you thinking in new ways about art, or at least it does for me. And that's what I want is to use my work to grow my brain and to grow my skill. So I just thought making, making it a tie dye ribbon would be so, so, so fun. And I love the look. I think it, I think it reads pretty well. Let me know what you think below. What other kind of ribbon would you do? Would you do a glitter ribbon? That might be really cool. You'd have to use a lot of base coat to smooth it or maybe even encapsulate it and then just file it into a nice smooth nail. Huh. Oh, mm. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. We're going to do something for uh, something coming up. So ba -da -ba. I'm really excited about it now. Yay, I love talking to you guys when I'm doing the voiceover because I get ideas and um, it solidifies things in my mind sometimes. If you make videos, do you know what I'm talking about? Let me know if you agree with that in the comment section. So now we're just highlighting. The highlighting is the easiest part, honestly. You're just coming in anywhere that there wasn't shading and making a highlight and that makes it pop, right? Just gives it a little pop. And you could do it a little less in your face than I did, but I think it's pretty cute. Guys, I did do that pink one off camera. These are the three basket weave nails. In the reveal shots, I paired them with a couple of glitter nails. You'll have to let me know if you would have done something different because I'm on the fence about that one, actually. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to see you next time for something else really awesome. I don't know what that might be yet. If you have any ideas that you'd like to see me execute on the channel, let me know below. Thank you again for watching and don't forget, we have a really awesome giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers, so make sure you hit that button. And you know, it makes me pretty happy when you do that too. All right, see you next time, bye-bye.